Hello everyone, here's your weather hazard briefing for Valentine's Day, if you do celebrate Valentine's Day. Otherwise, it's Wednesday, February 14th. Rain and snow returns later today. We have a little bit out there, but things really ramp up later today. They will peak not only the snow, but the snow levels will peak tonight around five to 6,000 feet. In some places, that is below ground. In some other areas, that is uh, just above the surface. Otherwise, that precipitation round, this round, will die off during the day west to east. There will be some gusty winds, and that leads to some blowing and drifting conditions. Also, depending on where you are, it will be enhancing up snow with upslope flow or Downslope conditions will be uh, uh, in the in the forecast. Otherwise, we have yet another storm dropping south across the area on Friday for another round of precipitation, mostly snow with that one. We get a break, then the next round comes in for the latter half of the weekend. Satellite doesn't show a whole lot going on this morning over our area, but plenty of moisture still to our west. That's what's arriving later today. We have some low clouds and some patchy snow generally along and east of I-15 this morning. Don't have much in the way of fog, but we might see a little bit of fog here and there this morning out ahead of this next storm system. Our weather risk outlook. You'll see where our main impacts will be over the next couple of days. Those will be mainly in the southeast highlands, the eastern highlands, also in some areas of the central mountains, especially in the sawtooths, and for at least tonight into tomorrow, upslope flow, that southerly flow into the Wood River Valley area, so some enhanced snowfall heading in the Wood River Valley and some of the surrounding higher terrain. Otherwise, there's that break Saturday. We're not expecting anything, and then more of precipitation Sunday, and any impacts at this point are expected again to be up in the highlands. So looking at how things are progressing for today, like I said, some light precipitation uh, east of I-15 for the most part. Maybe a few mountain showers over the central mountains will go through the day. And that's general activity will be there. It'll start to diminish a little bit, but it will be around. You'll see it increasing from west to east during the afternoon. Most of this will be over western Idaho and even into our western areas, but you'll notice a few showers possible, uh, especially up along uh, towards the Upper Snake Highlands and into the eastern highlands, the Upper Snake Plain, I mean, uh, for this afternoon. Here comes a good round going into the evening hours. That'll be moving to our area from west to east and then we'll just have another round coming through late tonight and into tomorrow this will continue into the day tomorrow once it moves east from there then we have another little wave coming through later in the day from west to east that diminishes a bit but you'll see as we go into the afternoon hours on thursday we do have some snow showers continuing over the area some rain and snow showers in the lower elevation so going into the rest of the forecast we're going to take this a little bit piece by piece to our area and we'll go with the highs for today at least you'll notice most of us will be above freezing except way in the upper end of the plain off into the eastern and southeastern highlands will be a near or just above freezing in some places otherwise plenty of 40s mid 40s once you get into the magic and treasure valleys for this afternoon now, looking in that wind, we're going to skip all the way to this evening because that's when things really start to pick up. And you'll notice the general wind flow is out of the south, coming from basically Twin Falls all the way up towards Idaho Falls. And you'll notice a lack of snowfall. That's because it will be warm tonight. Those downslope winds will help cut down any moisture that falls. And with it being warm, it will be mostly rain or a little bit of snow mixed in with that rain. And if it, for some reason, we do get a little burst, of snow it might briefly accumulate in those areas and then quickly go away but you'll notice our main concern will be some beginning upslope flow into the island park area but especially into the wood river valley into the fairfield area up into the soldiers some areas this evening can see one to four inches of snow maybe a little bit higher in some of the higher terrain that's just this evening in those wind gusts 20 to 30 miles per hour some of our higher terrain gusts well above 30 miles per hour uh, throughout the region for this evening this is past midnight you'll notice we continue to see the winds picking up out of the south so more continued downslope conditions generally from just south of idaho falls around shelley and firth back down towards the twin falls area 
Snow continuing to fall, especially over into the big holes, the Island Park area, two to four in the lower elevations, maybe an inch or two in the Driggs area in the Teton Valley. But southerly flow will try to downslope uh, portions of the Teton Valley this evening, afternoon and evening. Otherwise, higher amounts into the Tetons and also adjacent to Yellowstone as well. And you can see that snow continuing upslope into the Wood River Valley north of Fairfield. Some of those areas seeing four to eight inches of snow. Uh, some of the higher end stuff will be where that inslope, upslope is enhanced into the higher terrain. But you'll notice where we get out of the upslope, not a lot of snow tonight in those areas. And that includes out into the Snake Plain. A little extra enhanced upslope southerly flow for Arco and portions of the craters in the INL for tonight. Otherwise, light snow amounts even across the southeast highlands. For tomorrow morning, you can see where the, the, those southerly winds will keep it right above or to above freezing all up and down the 1586-84 corridor. Temperatures remaining below freezing in the central mountains, the eastern highlands, and the southeast highlands. Those are the places we're definitely going to stay below freezing. And with these temperatures where they are, that's why in some areas those snow levels floating at five to 6,000 feet. Now, we'll pick up for tomorrow morning. Quite a bit of wind of developing, and you'll notice one thing. Thing. The wind is no longer out of a southerly direction. It's starting to shift to the west and southwest as a coal a boundary comes through the area. And that's when some of those gusts will pick up around 35 to 45 miles per hour. Not much in the way of snow over the lower elevations. You see the snow winding down except in the sawtooths and some of the higher elevations of the central mountains. But still some pretty good snows across the big holes, the Tetons up into the Island Park area. That southwest flow is still upsloping to so some of those areas. For the Teton Valley, it's a still downslope flow for those folks. Snow picking up elsewhere. Still not a lot of snow across the lower snake playing into the Magic Valley and also down towards Oakley and also down down towards Malta as well. Going into the afternoon, those winds do continue, and in some cases they'll remain steady, maybe pick up a little bit. But as the main push moves, moves to the east into Wyoming, we lose quite a bit of the snow. Still some decent snowfall in the afternoon hours, uh, two to four inches, maybe a little bit higher along the Wyoming border uh, on up towards Solitaire Peak as well. So this is going to be a quick hitter for some, but that's quite a bit of snow. The blowing snow and drifting snow will be there, but mainly because of the elevated snow levels, it's going to be up higher, but still some blowing and drifting for your backcountry travel and even some of those highest passes here in central and eastern Idaho. For tomorrow afternoon, we do kind of mix out a little bit, so that's going to push some temperatures back up in some areas, a little bit warmer than when they were today. Otherwise, still plenty of 30s and 40s across the area for tomorrow afternoon across our area. This is tomorrow evening. We're going to just kind of step through this to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. We do have some lingering light snow, a little bit of a pickup in snow across the central mountains and the sawtooths, even in the Tetons. That's ahead of the next wave that drops south in, south into our area on the day, during the day on Friday. Still some pretty decent south to southwest winds, 25 to 35 miles per hour. Some higher gusts in a few locations. That's tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. That system as it drops southward ever so slightly, maybe a little bit more light snow over the high higher elevations of the Tetons, the big holes up into the Centennials, portions of the Central Mountains, maybe a few little bit of light pockets of light snow over the Snake Plain for tomorrow night into early Friday morning. The wind gusts do come down, but still some gusts in excess of 30 miles per hour. That's for Thursday night. That's kind of getting us through most of the first round, the leading edge of that next round of snow. We'll go into Friday. Lows in the morning in the uh, most areas will be at or below freezing over our neck of the woods. Afternoon highs cooler, staying above freezing over the Snake Plain and certainly in the Magic Valley and down into uh, around the Malta area, the Oakley area, even down towards Preston and Malab. But otherwise, at or just below freezing within a couple of degrees of freezing, we'll say, or a little bit colder going into Friday afternoon. Here's the wind. You'll notice we start to see some northerly winds kicking in, and that's because we have that wave coming through and dropping southeast over the area. Not a lot of snowfall except over the southeast corner, but 
Portions of the Tetons, the big holes could see two to six inches of snow, also went down in the Bear River Range. Otherwise, just some light to uh, locally moderate snow amounts during the day on Friday. This is an all-day total, not looking at a necessarily a six-hour period. We're looking at the 12-hour period through 5 p.m. through fr Friday afternoon across the area. Temperatures on Saturday with it, uh, things uh, quieting down on Saturday, a colder start. Not a bad day on Saturday. Some of us definitely back above freezing in the low to mid 40s in some areas. On Sunday, we do pick things up in the morning a little bit, a little bit warmer with some increasing cloud cover within a degree or two, maybe a degree or two cooler overall on Sunday with rain and snow in the forecast, keeping those temperatures down just a bit. So like I said, we've got precipitation coming in. We're going to have to monitor things over the next 24 to 48 hours just to see how where some of these heavier snow amounts might fall, how roads will be impacted and travel will be impacted over that period. Have a great day and do stay safe out there, everyone.